At some point when you're developing CodeIgniter, you're going to want to create your own custom functions. And there's a few different ways to go about this in CodeIgniter. One way is that you can extend the CI controller. So you can go like inside your application folder and then the core folder. And then you can create a file here called my underscore controller, I believe. And this controller is going to extend CI controller. And then all of the controllers in your controller folder are going to extend your my controller, which is extending CI controller. So you could put like any kind of function in the my controller, um, you know, to add whatever functionality, add whatever functions you want, and then you can use it in all of your uh, in all your controllers here. Um, another way is that you can extend the helpers. Now the helpers aren't actually object oriented; it's just a bunch of functions in a file. But CodeIgniter um, still gives you a way to sort of um, to sort of extend in quotation marks those um, those helpers. And the way that you do that is inside your application folder and then the helpers folder. What you'll do is you'll create a file here like um, my underscore and then the um, and then the helper name. So if I go in the system here and then go into helpers, you'll see they have like array helper. So yours would be called like my underscore uh, array helper. Let's just go over to the documentation for that and make this a bit bigger here. And so what you'll do here is in your application helpers folder, you'll create a file called my underscore array helper. And then you can add your own functions in there. And that's basically going to extend the um, that array helper file. Um, the way I chose to do this was to create my own helper file. So you see if I go up here um, into my helpers file here, um, you'll see I have a file called ff underscore helper. And then inside my autoload.php, I'm autoloading that helper so it's available um, everywhere on my site. So we can just open this up and you'll see I have um, two functions in it so far. Um, all of the helpers in CodeIgniter, you should put them inside this if not function exist and then the name of your function. So what that's going to do is if the function doesn't exist anywhere in the application so far, then it's going to create this function. And all of CodeIgniter's uh, functions that they create in their helpers um, are wrapped in this function exist things. Um, so we should do the same. And you can see I have two functions here so far. And I'm just going to go over to my site here. And what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to create a function here that is going to get um, the number of users that registered in the last 24 hours. And you can see I have eight here on my website here. And the way I did that was, um, let's just go to my footer first. And you'll see I'm just calling this function here, um, users in the last 24 hours. And then I call members last 24 hours. So if we go over to my FF helper file here, um, you'll see that function here. The first thing we need to do is we need to get an instance of CodeIgniter because um, you know we're inside a helper right now. It's not like when you're inside a controller and then you have access to all of you know CodeIgniter's uh, properties and methods there. Um, inside a helper, you first need to get an instance of CodeIgniter first if you want to use things like DB query. And I'm just storing this result in the CI variable right here. And after that, I'm creating this time variable, and that is string to time. And the first argument is minus one day. And then the second one is the current timestamp. And after that, we are taking this timestamp from one day ago, and we're using that in the second argument of the date function here. And then in the first argument, we're using um, the date format that we want. And this is how we can insert into the database as a timestamp. If I go over to my um, database right here, this is my users table, and we go over here, this reg time is a timestamp and its default value is the current time. Well, we can do comparisons um, by using the same format they have right here. So um, let's go back over here, and I'm selecting the count from users where activated equals one, because we only want the users that activated. And the register time is greater than the time from one day ago. And then after that, instead of this DB query, we use CI uh, arrow DB query, and we get the result. And because we're only expecting one row back, because we're using count here, um, we use um, this result row, and then we can grab the value count. You see I did count star as count. So here I'm just echoing row count. 
And because I'm only expecting to use this function in one place right now, I'm just echoing this out from the function rather than returning it. But if in the future I find that you know, I'm using this function a lot in the site, I might have it return a value instead, um, which is going to be a bit more flexible. So you can see that this function is working pretty well here. And that's basically how you can create your own custom helpers in Codeigniter.